What's going on guys? So on this channel, we've covered many different AI coding tools. We've covered many different AI IDEs and Windsurf has been one of those tools that we've been covering a lot on this channel. We covered it when it first came out and Windsurf has been improving drastically and has been having a lot of different new updates or what they call waves. So they had wave one, they had wave two, and they just released wave three. So of course, right now the AI IDE coding race is going on right now. We have tools like windsurf we have tools like cursor we have zed we have pair we have ai extension tools like klein rue klein the list goes on and on and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new windsurf wave 3 features seeing how they actually are seeing if they compare well to some of the other tools and features that are out there in the market We'll run some tests and see if windsurf is in fact the leading front runner or if it's not in the number one spot when it comes to the ai ides so let's dive right into it. So all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. I would also recommend checking out Windsurf's official video on the new releases so you can uh, see exactly what they say too. So here we have the blog post of what these releases are. So the TLDR on all this is they just got Mono Context Protocol, so MCP support. So you can now use MCP servers, which is nice. So bring in more tools for Cascade to access. You can use tab to jump. So this is similar to cursors um, tab feature. All right. So in addition to our predictive passive AI in the text editor and then turbo mode. So this lets Cascade run all commands in the terminal. And, you know, previously you could admit certain commands, whether that's NPM or CD or whatever the case may be. Turbo mode is essentially like how Klein and Rue Klein have their auto mode. This is very similar to that. And then drag and drop images. So very requested feature to make using images inputs easier. So previously they added the feature where you could actually add images, but now you can simply drag and drop them. So it's a lot easier. And then custom app icons. So a small thank you for our paying users. Okay, a couple other updates that happened since wave two that really weren't a part of wave three, but were in between are the new DeepSeek V3, DeepSeek R1, O3 Mini, and Gemini 2.0 Flash integrations. So now you can use more models um, supported within Windsurf. And you can see here, uh, Anthropic, Claude's on its one credit, GPT-4.0 is one credit, O3 Mini is one credit, DeepSeek V3 is a uh, quarter of a credit, and DeepSeek R1 is half a credit, and then Gemini 2.0 Flash, O Flash is a quarter of a credit. So you could use DeepSeek V3 uh, at a very inex inexpensive credit price. And you could also use R1 or O3 right here. And then uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. Now, I haven't used O3 Mini too much yet within an IDE. I've used it on itself in ChatGPT and it's very, very powerful. But um, I've still been sticking to Claude Sonnet 3.5. But I've been meaning to try O3 Mini within something like cursor or windsurf so let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on o3 mini within your ide i've been using it in ChatGPT, and it is a powerhouse for coding now a few different things i like with windsurf comparative to something like cursor well one for example if we go to their pricing plan right here you'll see that you're either on the ten dollars or the fifteen dollar per month plan depending on if you are early adopter or not and there is a higher month plan and there is a higher plan right here for 60 bucks or uh, organization plans over here i'm currently just on this pro plan right here with cursor it is 20 dollars a month and then there's of course free plans on both of them but they're very limited and then 40 dollars a month for business i'm on the pro plan right here with cursor which is 20 dollars, and i'm on the pro plan with windsurf which is 10 dollars. so windsurf is in fact half as much so let's go ahead and open up windsurf so once you open up windsurf you will notice if you haven't updated already there will be an update button right here so you can simply just click that once you do that it will just say view change logs now if we come over here down to windsurf settings we'll see all the different settings so you'll see here terminal auto execution is currently off you could put it onto auto so this will allow cascade to decide which commands are safe to auto execute and if you put it to turbo then it will allow it to auto execute any commands unless they are on the deny list so this is the new feat one of the new features that um, we're going to showcase here you'll see here we have the code completion stuff so there's autocomplete there's super complete and then the new one is tab to jump so enable trajectory aware navigation suggestions that predict the location of your next edit all right so to access cascade of course you just open up here and you'll see that we either have cascade write or chat 
we're going to turn on right because this will allow us to use the turbo mode now here you'll see mcp so we have, currently have zero mcps available we click on this and then click on configure. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents going to bring up the mcp right here so configuring mcp i'm going to close this right here and this is where you could actually add in your mcp config now you can find different mcp servers like here is the mcp repo right here and you can see a bunch of different tools right here like if we go to Airtable right here so now we're in the Airtable one and you can see that there is the json right here so we could copy this right here go to our mcp paste that in now of course you would want to add in your api key or else this wouldn't work so once you paste that in you can click on refresh and now you'll see that we have Airtable right here which has access to 12 tools so we could list bases list tables create tables all these different stuff right here if you're not familiar with mcp servers i would definitely recommend checking them out you can check out the docs here as well and then you could go ahead and ask this specific questions and it could do specific actions within Airtable. I'm going to say list my bases with an Airtable, then click send. We can see here, I'll help you list your accessible Airtable bases. So call the MCP tool right here. And now it's saying you have several Airtable bases right here. And these are legitimate Airtable bases within my Airtable account. So pretty cool stuff. So a couple other things within Windsurf. If we go ahead and say something like search for the latest React documentation. So we could actually tell it to go search for something on the web. You could paste in a link to really anything or a link to the documentations, or you could use at web right here and tag that and it will actually search the web. So let's go ahead and click on send here. Okay. So you can see here, we're actually using deep seek R1. So there is a thinking process right here. Now it is searching the web. So it searched, as you can see, it found um, the latest react documentation right here. Now it's thinking again with deep seek R1. Here's the most relevant resources and the React documentation. Boom, boom, boom. We can see all the different releases, all this uh, stuff right here. So you could actually use this doing research on the latest documentation or latest things. And then this will be good for context for within um, maybe the specific app you're building. Because I always find with using AI IDEs, one of the most important things is to have up to date documentation and getting documentation, scraping it, putting it in here. So this is a really good feature as well. You can see here, web search is a configurable tool that can call and access the web for you. It'll be used to answer questions that need real time context. Web search may run many sequential searches and consume many credits. To turn it off, go to your settings. All right. So another thing is we could go over here to Twitter, for example, take a screenshot like so of the app. We could come back over to Windsurf and drag this image over into our windsurf now the one thing i will say is see how it's flickering like this this is kind of glitchy um but we can paste and i just dragged it in the first time and it didn't work so um you may have to drag it in the second time if it's flickering but let's go ahead and say make let's say make a clone of this website right here we're gonna go ahead and click on the send keep in mind i also have the turbo feature on so it should go about making these files one by one without me having to touch anything it should go about actually pretty much every single thing that we need to do to make this twitter clone without me having to approve anything or whatnot and a lot of these like the mcp server the turbo mode these are things that cursor may have had and it also seems kind of like cursor and windsurf are getting a lot of these ideas and features from maybe tools like Klein or RuKlein because I know RuKlein and Klein have been having MCP servers and all this stuff for a very long time so either way it is cool to see that these IDEs are getting these uh, features so we can see here it's creating the index.html now it's creating the styles.css all right so we can see here that it built the app right here so if we go ahead and take a look now you can see that we have our 
um, app. There's a Twitter clone made by Windsurf. So pretty cool. I did a pretty good job right out of the box. You can see I got all the different features here on the left side. Even got the images, the X icon right here. So pretty impressive. And also too, if you go up here in the top right and click on Cascade Memory Panel, you'll see that Cascade also now can accumulate memories. So memories are contacts accumulated by Cascade to generate better responses. They persist across all conversations within the same workspace, ensuring continuity in your workflow. So pretty impressive that it has this. You can see right now I have no memories generated. You can also set user defined rules right here, edit global rules right here, as well as edit workspace rules. So really awesome. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for these updates. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about these. I think these are some great updates for Windsurf, and I'm excited to see their future updates as well as Wave 4. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below with who is the best AI IDE. Is it Cursor? Is it Windsurf? Is it Zeb? What is the best one? Or is it something like Rue Klein or Klein? Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI agents, AI coding, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below for that. And then also, too, guys, you're definitely going to want to check out our free Stride AI Academy for behind-the-scenes resources, tools, templates, etc. And then also, too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents or custom AI growth solutions, into your business book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not and then also too if you're an entrepreneur developer coder whatever the case is and you want to actually sell these ai agent services to other business owners and you want our exact protocol on how to do that and make two to 10k plus book a call down below as well and we can see if it's a fit to work together other than that guys i will see you in the next video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care